Hello and welcome back uh, to Kilmainham Jail for another one of our lockdown videos. Uh, we're still here on the Common Amon Corridor and we'll just look out the window here. We're on the top floor of the 1840s extension, the old women's wing. And you can see there the spire of uh, St. Jude's Church of Ireland, uh, Church on Inchicore Road, just to orientate yourself if you're familiar with the area. Uh, but today we are going to have a look at another one of the cells, uh, another cell with some very uh, interesting, quite spectacular graffiti really. Uh, again, dating from the Civil War, uh, done by some of the Republican uh, coming among uh, female prisoners. So we're just going to come in here. So it'll just take me a while to line us up. It's quite uh, faint. Um, but you can see here there's an inscription in Irish and uh, it we think it says, uh, or it means, is far nyavnu na la bulog, uh, which means basically nothing is better than a half a loaf. Uh, so this uh, might refer to some of the many uh, hunger strikes that the women were on, uh, but it could also refer, of course, to the treaty, the reason that they were here. Uh, they women who were here were Republican uh, women prisoners, uh, and they obviously didn't agree with the Anglo-Irish treaty, uh, and they decided that nothing would be better than this half measure. There's another really interesting piece of uh, graffiti uh, just over the main entrance. Um, sorry. So hopefully you can be you're able to make it out there. Uh, and it says extreme busyness is a sign of deficient vitality. Um, and it, I we think the background to this was there was a there had been a kind of a um, I suppose a, a row uh, between the women prisoners and some of the guards. And one of the guards apparently had um, was kind of remonstrating with them for not doing something he wanted them to do. And he pointed to uh, one of the kind of I suppose. Uh, religious verses that were still um, painted on the wall of the jail, kind of remnant of its time as a, as the uh, county jail for Dublin. Um, and I think it was something along the lines of, you know, the devil makes work for idle hands. So here they're saying, you know, extreme busyness is a sign of deficient vitality. Um, so I suppose uh, this is their riposte to uh, the, the very po-faced Victorian mottos uh, that they found around the building at the time. So uh, that's it for today and join us uh, later on in the week for another one of our Kamenamon lockdown videos.